Hey up. Chuck us my phone out my call while you're there, will you? Which pocket? She's not here. Nice knocking, by the way. I've not come to see her. You know what I've just been? Dragging Aaron away from Jay's house. It took four of us. But he still managed to put the windows through. Thanks for the update. See yourself out. Someone's gonna get seriously hurt through this. Right, we'll send them over here when they do, will you? We'll compare notes, eh? That is if you don't stop it. I've told him to stop. He doesn't listen. Well, you listen to me now. It ends today. You can end it. And how do you reckon that? I know. That it wasn't Jay who gave you that pasting. And you know it too. Shall we get to the point? Oh, so there is one to you coming here, is there? Right, we'll do it your way. Well, tell me another way. Jay didn't give me a pasting. If that's true, he's looking at doing a hell of a stretch for someone else. You're checking this too far. I just told the coppers. It's down to them now. If there's no evidence, it'll be fine. It won't be fine. Aaron's up the road wanting to do all sorts. On the strength of some mad loyalty to you, you've got to tell the truth. Why don't you start me off? You and my dad be a role model. Nothing is ever straightforward with you, is it? Well, you're the one who bars in here, but he's obviously having some kind of an episode, so come on! You know damn well that it wasn't Jay! Because you know damn well it was me. Now, I have had a bit of a bump on the head, but I'm thinking straight enough. Then here's my problem with what you just said. Now, whoever did me over did a pretty good job. This wasn't just a mugging or a slap round the face. This was beating someone till they nearly died. The fact I didn't might have been a mistake. So that being the case, my question would be, what kind of a man would do this to his own son? Have I said sit? Is that why you sat about me with a metal bar? Because I'm a bad host? There was no stopping you. <laughs> there obviously was. Do you know what you've been doing? Because at least if you don't, it means you're sick in the head and there might be some hope for you. Shouldn't you have asked that question before you started swinging? You've always done damage. And I've turned a blind eye, I know I have. But this, it's, it's been something new. How many lives is it that you want to ruin? Oh, what, so you're the people's champion now, are you? Right him wrong, you should get yourself a cape. That girl gave birth in a graveyard. Eh? All alone. She could have died. The baby nearly did. All because you had a scared witness that if she said anything to anybody... Look, she knew what to do. She made a choice and now she's dealing with it. So did Moira Barton and so did Charity. Charity's choice is a life without you and you won't let her live it. You can't do that, you're not God! No, oh, that position's taken, isn't it? You've got the vengeance thing down to a T. Charity doesn't love you, OK? Man, you're missing something. Shouldn't you be hitting me between every word? It'd hardly hurt you anymore if I did. I know that. Shut up. Aaron's going berserk. Chaz is worried sick. Debbie is beside herself every minute of every day because your granddaughter is dying! You've got to be a dad! So teach me how to be a dad then, Dad. What's lesson number one? Knock up your brother's wife and then leave her to deal with it. You know that's not how it was. I know what you tell me. But come on. 
A bit of extra marital, then nine months later a kid comes along. And leave the kid to be brought up thinking Shadrach is his dad. Shadrach. But I'll tell you something about Shadrach, shall I? He was a bum and a drunk and no use to anyone, but at least he knew he was. He didn't pretend to be something that he wasn't. I'm not saying that he And what's been... lesson number two, eh? Oh, yeah. Run off to Peru when things get tough. It was chilly. Oh, so you remember, do you? Didn't remember your family, though, did you? The wife you left behind crying on my shoulder, the poor sad cow. And you talked to me about babies. How old was Belle when you disappeared? You didn't give her much thought, did you, when you were off drunk doing whatever with whoever? Of course I did. I've made mistakes, I know that. More than most, if truth be known. But that is what mine were. Mistakes. You tripped over my mother, did you? Eh? Accidentally bought a ticket and got on a plane. Yeah, you have made mistakes, Dad. Just the same as me. Yeah, well, where's it got us, then? What have we created? A bloke who wrecks people's lives for fun. You're barely human. So come on, then. Finish the job. That's what you come here for, isn't it? Let's see if you're up to it. Now you've got to look me in the eye. Ah! Oh. Get off me, doctor. Surprised you didn't sit about me when I was down there. It's more your style, isn't it, eh? I wouldn't say so. You wouldn't say anything that puts you in a bad light. Things went too far. Yeah. I'll admit that. How far did you think they were going to go? You used to be a proper fighter. You know when people have had enough. But something snapped up here, didn't it, eh? That's probably where I get it from. Except I've never gone that far. You're the one who's out of control. I hit you with a tire iron, that's what it were. Need to knock you down first time. What is this story? How do you think I'm interested? Need that edge these days. Lads need discipline. No matter how old they are. I was brought up believing that, and I still do. And who disciplined you when you've gone too far, eh? When there's somebody on the floor who already can't move and you hit them, you hit them. You should have seen your face. Because I did. It wasn't like any bloke I've ever met before. You were gone. Lost. Teeth snarling. Eyes popping out of the sockets, looking like you were getting off on every single hit. Oh, and in case you can't remember, you didn't use that tire iron just once. I lost count before you even started with the fist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you push me. You push everybody. Nothing's out of bounds with you. You even mock me over what happened with Lisa and him. Him who raped your wife and you let him off? I didn't let him off. Well, you didn't do this, did you? You deserve all the mocking you get. Tell me I'm old. Tell me I'm past it. Weak. Well, you can still swing your arms and give you that much. Hey, even now you won't stop. The fact that there's, what, half a dozen people under suspicion in a village this size tells you everything you need to know about what you're like. If you weren't like you are, 
This wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have had to. You needed a lesson. <laughs> what, and you're the one to teach it, are you? It was my job. I'm your dad. John Barton's got a son. Eric Pollard's got a son. Frank Tate, Jack Sugden, none of them had angels. And yeah, I am probably top of the league, that's right. But could you imagine any of them, no matter what, doing to theirs what you did to me? Can you? When have I ever preyed on young girls, huh? Threatened women, blackmail folk. <laughs> yeah, all right, I admit it. That business with Tom King when you got away with all that money, yeah. I've hardly been prouder. But you see, that's a weakness in me. Shall I tell you a strength? Is it always knowing when you outstayed your welcome? Family. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do anything for mine. Because without it, what does any of it mean? <laughs> Sticking together. That's what life's about for most decent people, but especially for us. Except when you run off to South America. That was a long time ago. So was the war. But does everybody think it? There was a decent bloke now. I have changed since then. Settled down proper. And so might I when I get to your age. But I tell you one thing I won't do. Make my family be grateful for scraps. A fish here. A rabbit there. And then nothing to eat. Because there's no money in the pot because you're too lazy to go out and earn some brass. I've grafted. You've grifted. You've stolen and scrounged and scammed and just about got by. Because everybody turns a blind eye. And do you know why? Because they think you're a harmless loser. And they're half right. And all the time you do this, you send your wife out to work for whoever will pay her to do whatever they ask her to do, to bring some money in, to bring your family up, to put food in your daughter's belly. So if you think it's you that keeps your family together, you're even more stupid than I thought. You're a broken down, washed up, bone idle joke. OK. This is where I put things right. I'm going to mend my broken bones. Whatever I did to you, you have had coming for a long time. Wow, Daddy. You're the best. What I can do is stop this before an innocent bloke, a decent bloke, gets put on trial just because you don't like him. You're not a grass. You're not much, but you're not that. It goes against your twisted sense of who you are. And go and say it, yeah. Puts you one up on me, cos I am. Oh, no. No, I did that for Debbie. I always remember that. Thanks means everything to me, that. Bought yourself a lot of leeway with that. Damn what you did for Sam and Alice. But not enough to start destroying people's lives just because you're upset about something that didn't go your way. Well, when did you buy the leeway to do what you'd done to me? We're past that now. You might be. Talking, I mean. <laughs> Convenient. I'm not going to see an innocent bloke get sent down. I think you will. You're threatening stuff we both know you ain't got the rocks to go through with. You don't know what I might go through with. 
I'm to prove that to you already. You're going to go through with the 20 year stretch? Because that's what you'll get. Attempted murder. Even GBH with your record, you'll be close to that. You won't come out. Miss out on Belle. Doing whatever she does. Getting married. Having her own kids. Only time you'd see her is across a prison visiting table. Until she stopped coming, that is. Billy should stop coming first, though. Yes, yeah, she'd find someone else. Why would she wait just to organise your funeral? Well, I know all this. If you had the ball, you'd have done it already. I was hoping that you would. You what? I don't think so. No, no. Tried to teach you a lesson, I failed. Run out of ideas. But there's still one last chance for you to put things right. Well, <laughs> as right as they could ever be now. You've got to come clean and tell them that it weren't Jay. You can tell them it were me, if you have to. Or you could say you don't know. That's in your power. You talk about me and what I should think of myself. You're ten times worse. Well, yeah, yeah, I know you don't care much about what people think of you, what I think of you, anymore. If you ever did. But you do care about Debbie. And Chaz. Maybe. me. Charity. Oh, yeah, you care about what she thinks. <sighs> yeah. So, I think you're going to walk into that cop shop and you're going to tell them what's what. Because if you don't, you're going to force me to. And I'll do it, son, I will. Cos I reckon... it would be easier for me to spend the rest of my life in prison... than it would be for you on the outside with everyone that you care about knowing that you're a coward. And they will know, I'll make sure of that. Oh, yeah, it's the last thing I do as a free man. I'll make sure everyone knows what you are. <laughs> <laughs>